Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Mug tutorials. Um, Happy New Year! We're in 2018 and we are in 2018 NAV as well. So um, it's going to be a lot of fun things going through. Um, I want to continue on CRM. I had kind of two uh, uh, tracks going on, uh, the CRM and the approval. So we're kind of just going to go one on one uh, every week. And, uh, and right now it's CRM. And I was actually running through this and wondering what to talk about next on CRM. We went through sales cycles, opportunities. And so the natural thing to talk about next would be tasks. And uh, the funny thing with 2018 is we have something called pending user tasks here. And I did talk about that in one of the videos that says what's new. And we created a task here. But we had tasks in NAV before that which were the uh, interaction tasks or tasks on CRM. And I, I just don't see a connection between these tasks and the other tasks. So the whole task thing is in a little bit in a flux. But um, I want to talk about the tasks that we did have in NAV before. So if you watched the previous CRM videos, um, you know that we created opportunities. Uh, and so here, for example, we have open opportunities, a bunch of opportunities. And we created these new ones here, coffee stand and coffee stand pop up. Now, if I go into one of these, um, I can see that we have pushed the sales cycle to the second stage to qualification. Uh, and each one of these stages are obviously created in the sales cycle uh, setup. So you have your sales cycle code. I'm actually going to go into that here and drill a little bit. Uh, this is how you get into the sales cycles and creating kind of the templates for the sales cycles. And we talked about it a little bit before. Um, and each one of these has stages, right? And so you go initial, qualification, presentation, proposal, sign contract, etc. So the, when you get an opportunity, you create the opportunity, uh, you attach it to a sales cycle code, uh, and then according to the code, it will go through these stages, right? And these are stages you set up. Um, each one of these stage uh, is attached to an activity code. So let's go ahead and look at that. If I go here into initial uh, activity code, I look at all my activity codes, right? And there they are. Now, what are activity codes? Hmm. That what they are, they actually hold together tasks. So if I go into one of these, I can see a list of tasks that need to be done for this activity code to go through. So whenever we go through an activity code like this in a sales cycle, it automatically creates these tasks to do. And in this case, it's verify the quality of, quality of opportunity and identify key people. And it actually says that we have to right away say verify quality and identify we get one week to do date on that. And these types here, I could actually change that to be a meeting or a phone call. So setting up a meeting in Outlook or actually calling and you could call out of NAV using Tappy or something like that. So these are tasks. So where do these tasks go? I, as we were pushing the opportunities forward, we didn't see any tasks and it's sort of a, <laughs> in the background kind of thing, but um, it's interesting and it's very useful. Uh, and I kind of, I don't know, maybe Microsoft should have done a better job at designing the role center for this, but I have a feeling that it would be used a lot more if, for example, in the role center, you would have tasks, not this tasks, but the tasks from CRM. And I couldn't find that anywhere here. Um, so obviously when a salesperson logs in, they should see number of pending tasks to do, right? It would be obvious. Um, and I suspect we, you know, uh, the partners have created that many, many times for the, uh, for the users uh, in implementations. So how do we actually get to tasks? If I go into my salesperson list here, I have a number of salespeople. And each one of the salesperson, if I navigate here, has tasks. 
So here I can see the tasks. And so Annette has two tasks here, and they're both closed. She's finished with them. Let's take a look at uh, Peter Sato because that's the salesperson on all the new um, opportunities. You can see he has plenty to do. And these are attached, some of them attached to opportunities. Um, so here I can actually go and view the task. This is the task I need to do. And then I can close that out, etc. So the tasks get created uh, and I can make the phone call or sign it to somebody else, etc. But they get created through um, sales cycles, automatically creates tasks. And you can create tasks through other things. You can actually just create a task right away here. Um, and I think what would be a good practice, and I think I know many companies actually do this, is that on the, uh, the splash screen or the role center when they log in, the salesperson will see the ta list of tasks needed to do. They will go through the task and close them. So uh, we're actually going to follow up with another video of how to interact with tasks, uh, opening them up, what we can do with them. But this is sort of like giving you a heads up of what the CRM tasks are in NAV and, and how they compare to the, uh, the new user tasks, which we already covered. So I hope that uh, opened up a little bit of information for you. Uh, thumbs up if you like this uh, and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you.